What is up everybody? It is Gorilla Man here. I'm back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video we are going to be finishing the work on the Ram Power Wagon, the 2017 4x4 Power Wagon. Let me show you here, show you some stats if you guys haven't seen them yet. Uh, we still have to redo some suspension parts. I think we were just going to do the leaf springs brakes. Um, we've done all of the engine. Right now we got a uh, it's a four x four. It's got transfer case and everything that we'll be attaching up in a minute here. Uh, but we got V8. I think it's stock with 400 horsepower, 444 horsepower, and it is still stock. So we'll run on the diamond just so I can show you guys later. Um, it's still running those stock specs. But uh, guys, we need to work on the body first. Actually, no, no, we'll wait on the body. We need to do brakes and such first. There we go. And also, guys, there is a Ram DLC that just came out in this game today as of recording, uh, May 10th. Um, and the next video, because I said I'd be posting two videos today, will be out a little bit after this one, probably like two-ish hours after this one. And that will be a look at the Ram DLC. I think it's a Ram 3500. And then I think the one that we just did, the Ram... Uh, are the, the Dodge SRT they are actually doing the exact same thing for the DLC it's just two cars or two it's a car and a truck um, which is great I mean we love trucks but it's like the exact same 2006 Dodge SRT 10 the literal exact same one as a mod so honestly if you have the mod there's not really any reason to buy the DLC so I'm just a little confused as to why they did that but uh, that's beside the point let's get these brakes done there we go and then we'll repair to the calipers just because we can uh new pads and new discs uh, all around though and then these rear leaf springs actually look really really good uh we'll get these shoes out how's the cylinder 68 all right we'll repair it anyways Break shoot out. Okay, this is actually in way better shape than I thought it was. Wow, we were able to repair the shoes too. Okay. Nice. Okay, yeah, so we we'll actually have, we will have really, really good br braking. Uh, main shop. Let's see. Brakes. Just brake. Uh, let's get ourselves two drums. Two discs. Two pads. You gotta make sure you get the pads for the, uh, what do you call it? In the back. Alright, we can slap these tires on. And then, guys, yeah, these tires are not the stock tires. As you can see, they're like super close to the uh, fenders there, and they're probably rubbing in reality, but it's fine. We don't care right now. Uh, we do want something bigger because this is gonna be competing with our F450 off road, our F350 off road. Uh, the 350 over there is like crazy boosted in like tuning and everything so it is got a little bit more power to it but i personally like the look of this ram way 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 more and there's this this is the 2500 so i think the dlc is actually a little bit different than this one which is good because if they would have just came out with the exact same trucks that modders have already made i don't know i would have been a little angry just because the dlc is like four bucks four it's, no, it's like four it's five dollars but it's like four dollars today so I've been like, mm, it's not really worth it. And yeah, because it, it really just, it would not be good. Uh, but we'll be taking a look in that, into the DLC in the next video. Uh, we'll be buying both of those uh, new trucks. I think I'm going to try and find them junkyard. But if I can't, I'll just get them auction, worst case scenario. All right, there we go. What's the value at? 168 164,000 there we go and then drop this and then we will start taking off every body piece we can get we need to repair all of these or buy new ones rear windows gown The headlights and front bumper look like in really, really good shape. 
Okay, there we go. She's torn down, ready to go. Alright, so we saved everything but the windows. Nice. That's actually really, really good. Uh, I'll go to Community Cars Body Shop and we'll do... Ram. Never mind, that will not help us. Oh, no, it's Power Wagon in here. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we have some options. Okay. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll do these tinted with the red. We'll try these out. Let's scroll back up. Uh, front bumper. We'll get this front window. And then the rear window. I'm trying to make sure we're, we're getting everything. Engine cover. Did we put the engine cover back on? Oh, here. Let's pop that. And then we can do the engine cover. Oh, sweet. It is saved. All right. So let's try out our new ones here. Ooh, a little bit of red. I like it. Well, we will be changing the front, uh, or the color in general. So, okay, let's get a different front bumper. Um, front bumper. So this is the one that we have now. I kind of want some lights on it. So we'll slap this new power wagon bumper on there. Yes, that'll be yes, and it's got the front skid plate and everything perfect for off-roading, which is the whole purpose of this truck actually. There we go. Saves our mirrors. Okay, what's this? Is this the one that was all different? Yeah, put some black trim piece somewhere, but I can't find it. Slap on these regular tail lights, rear fenders. What the heck? Hold on, let me. Did I put on the wrong door? Oh, I have two doors. Nice. I must have bought one at one of the auctions. All right, global body condition is 94, which means we are missing. Some small piece here. Give me that front window. It was that one. I think it was. Uh, let's see. We bought one, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Oh, look at them lights. Okay. And now we're going to go back here. Ninety-five, which means we're still missing something. What are we missing? Quick walk through. There's no spot for license plates, is there? Hmm. I'm not sure. See, we have anything down here that we haven't put on yet. R Ooh, bumper. Come on, there we go. Oh, wow, that is something special. Here, is there a different trunk we have to put on then? Let's see if there's a trunk that adapts this. Um, these are the fenders. I wonder what these ones look like. Here, let's pop this one off and see what this one looks like. Oh, okay. It gives us some stepping boards. I like it. Let's do it. So we need the left side fender. And then here's one trunk. Is there any other trunk that we can put on? I 
doesn't look like it. Oh, dang it, okay. Well, that's going to be weird. There we go, we got our sideboards on. I feel like we shouldn't have the trunk on here. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave the trunk out. Okay, so it'll drop it'll drop our value just a wee bit. But look at that. Car value is now up to two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. Uh let's see, fuel pump. Okay, we need to change uh no fuel pump's good. Um all right, so we still gotta do the interior. The rear it does want us to do a rear license plate and trunk. But there's no spot for a rear license plate. It's fine. We'll leave it for now, guys. Uh, we will get the front transfer case slapped down here. There we go. And then after we get the uh, gearbox and everything slatted on, then we will be painting this bad boy. Yes, we have so many V8 gearboxes. Let me use one. There we go, and I think we got this one from auction, so it's in pretty overall well shape. I think it was lowest things were like 60%. Um, that was not the right drive shaft. That was a 2% drive shaft. All right, let's get rid of that. Drive shaft, checkmate. All right, there we go. Let's drop this down and then we're gonna transfer this one over to a uh, garage entrance. Let's see, move car, garage entrance A. Ooh, I like the red. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be changing this color and I have a specific color in mind that you guys will see. I love the color. This is my favorite color on Rams. Um, but you guys will see in a second. Let's see here. Oh, here. Oh, she starts right up. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do interior disassemble. We're going to get all these out of here. So can we repair these at all? Let's check. Nope. Okay. So we will just replace these. I wonder if there's a specific we need to do. Doesn't look like it. So we're going to do our own then. We're gonna go all, what's the interior color? Okay, we gotta go black then. Since the rear the rear bench seat is black already, we gotta go black. Okay, where are we at, where are we at? Oh, we got 3,500 seats. You know what? We're going to see if we can slide these in. Hopefully we can put these in. Oh, sweet. We can't. All right. Yes, we can put the actual Dodge stuff in the modded version. Yeah, you know what? I like it. The green doesn't match, but we're getting rid of the green, guys. So don't, don't worry about it. All right. Move truck to paint shop. All right. So we're going to be turning our... Basically, this is a rally backer uh, power wagon, and we're going to be changing this bad boy to orange. I've really, really wanted to do orange recently on one of the trucks. Let's see here. Get a better view. Change saturation. Brightness has got to always be cranked up. There we go, and we'll go... We'll go matte. I like matte better. Let's see. Let's get a good look around here. We're on 2500 Hemi. There we go. All right, we'll paint her. And done. All right, what's the value now? It's still probably the same. 227000 So it's a little bit better. Yeah, because you added those seats and everything. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. You know what time it is. Let me see. Garage entrance A. Oh, 
yeah, I think I, I do like it better than the Ford. It, oh, it just looks so, so good. And they have extra parts on it and stuff like that. It looks just so good. Uh, we'll go with this. All right, there we go. We load it in. Ooh, it looks good. Now, the real question is, how does it handle the climbing up here? Oh, I got to say that front, uh, like, skid plate on the bumper is actually very helpful. Oh, yeah, just demolishes it. Easy, no problems. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this Ram is actually killing it. I think it's doing a lot better than the Ford already. Oh, against Mayor. Oh, dang. Oh, I forgot to go try and find some uh, community-made uh, workshop maps. Oh, dang. Okay, I'll do that. I'll for sure do that for next episode, guys. This Dodge is absolutely amazing. Well, let me just slow it down. Actually start turning instead of just sliding everywhere. All right, we're going to try some rocks. See how the rocks do. The rocks are actually usually really difficult on every truck I try. Nice. We went right over them. What about a climb? Let's see how a let's see how a dead start climb looks. Honestly, I'm not too I'm not expecting much out of this. I'm just going to say that. Let's see what it can do. Okay, it made it up halfway. It looks like the rear, uh, the rear cage there, the rear like rally cage was hitting the ground and causing some issues. Oh, baby, I I'm in love with this truck. I mean, in real life, I wouldn't drive the truck with like the rally stuff on there, but I would just drive the straight up the orange truck for sure, no doubt in my mind. Let me see. Okay, yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna end it here. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, coming later today, we're gonna be doing another Ram truck. It'll be the 3500, and we'll be taking a look at the Ram DLC um, because it literally just released today. But if you guys enjoyed this video so far, hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to 80,000, which means we're closer to 100,000. The goal is probably around 100,000 by the end of July, guys. And I think we can do it. I think we're on a roll right now. I think we can actually get it done, which would be insane. But... Without further ado, I'll see all you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.